Yep. Take two. All right, Sean, we're face down here, and we're with two of the members of the band Woe Is Me. And you are? I'm Ben. I play keyboard and do backing vocals. And I'm Michael, and I do vocals. Excellent. Now, what is the story behind your band name? Is it like, oh man, Woe Is Me, or is there actually a real story behind the band name? Um, it's kind of like... It's, it's not woe is me like we're like directly you know, like it's an indirect way of you know saying you know instead of looking down upon yourself and whatever and you know just just having a negative attitude be positive and, you know just always uh, yeah. instead of saying like <laughs> pity, pity on me like, yeah. like just like turn it around and make it positive like this I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Now, who are some of your musical influences? These guys are kind of like a wide genre. Very um, white. <laughs> yeah. Um, Marvin Gaye. <laughs> no, like, um, I really like, um, I, I'm a complete fan boy for uh, Bruno Mars. So, I really like him. Listen a lot. to a lot of Trapped and um, Nickelback. Not really, but those two. Uh, I really like Bruno Mars. I like, love, uh... At least it's not Justin Bieber. I love Justin Bieber. <laughs> that's my boy. That's my, that's my boy. That's my homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> Representing Canada. I'm not even from, from Canada. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> now, no, I'm serious. I like, like, Oceana. Um, I don't really listen to any bands to sell my cars, so I don't know how that works, but... Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, do you guys have any pre-show rituals that you guys do before you play? Uh, satanic rituals, maybe. We cut the throat of a lamb <laughs> and drip the blood down into our mouths. It actually soothes the book. The yeah, that's how we sort of uh, will warm up. Yeah. Especially with, really the, uh, <laughs> with the elevation raises. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like we just like stretch, etc. Do our squat thrusts, you know. Yeah. Now, what is it like <laughs> for you guys getting signed before you even play the show? It was weird. I mean, uh, a lot of people hated us for it. So we got like, signed in like three weeks of being the band. Yeah, we, uh, got, we got a good butter, bunch of shit for it, but um, it, it was cool. I mean, it, it was definitely a lot of pressure playing our first show. Like, we not playing our first show. Like, I guess we got signed for the first show, and then we played the show. And there's just these high expectations, you know, with everything that comes with being, you know, with Artery Foundation or, you know, Rise and Velocity, you know, so it was, we kind of just had to skip the whole, you know, playing around and, I guess, sucking or something, I don't know, we still suck, yeah. but, <laughs> yeah. Very well said. Uh, can you give us uh, any insight on your new album that's supposed to be coming out soon? Um, we don't, we don't really have anything planned for it, honestly. We, we just, um, the Fame Over Demise song was just a completely random song. I wanted to be on the album, but um, I guess we're going to be fooling around with writing once we get off this tour uh, here in the next week or so. We just have so many jumbled ideas of what we want, and we haven't really put them together yet, but um... Oh no! We, What's the inspiration behind it? It's gonna be totally different from your last album. We've even talked about doing stuff like electronically, like Nine Inch Nails shit. Yeah, like, we want to like, get a lot more industrial. Like a lot of industrial you know, stuff. That will, and, we'll also be heavier. You know, it'll be a heavier album. You know, uh, we just have so many ideas we're throwing out there just to kind of just think about what we want to do and everything. So we're just gonna bring it all together. So. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll be doing. Uh, on the off time in between this tour and Warped, I guess just brainstorming, putting all of our ideas together, you know, and seeing what we, I guess, like the most as a band. So Actually, that was one of my other questions you just mentioned about the uh, Warped tour. Is that your first Warped tour? It is, yeah. actually. It's, it's my first ever. I've never even been to one. So wow. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. I've never even been. So will the Warped tour be your biggest event that you guys have ever played? Probably. Yeah. We played yeah, a pretty big know. festival called Never Seen Never Seen Never. Yeah. We, that was a lot of fun. There's a good bit of kids there, but definitely. I think Warped World would be our biggest. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, there's the Sunny D endorsement. Oh, yeah. We have Drink Sunny D. It'll... <laughs> does the body good. 
make your schlong bigger. <laughs> now, uh, you guys have a lot of band members. Uh, have you ever had any crazy collisions or close calls while performing in general? Uh, sometimes on smaller stages, you know, it's we'll hectic. get in each other's way. And this one's a pretty small one. Yeah, it is. It'll be interesting tonight. We just yeah. Kevin likes to hit people with his guitar. Yeah. Do what we can, I guess. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, what does the future hold for What Was Me? Uh, besides the new, new album coming out, you guys playing Warp Tour? Uh, any other tours or videos? Any collaborations coming on? Um, Side projects? The, uh, after Warp Tour, we're going to Europe, and after that, um, we just confirmed our next U.S. tour. We can't say who it's with, but it's definitely a lot bigger for us. We're starting to be treated how we feel like we've deserved to be treated as a band so definitely any tour coming up past Europe is going to be a lot bigger for us as a band so we'll have a longer set time a lot of other things because we won't we'll be able to play longer that'll give us a lot longer time to make the kids hard you know yeah it's hard to get the crowd aroused no, we just, when you feel like, like we only songs. can give them a half chub. Yeah. And that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> it's not, not satisfying. Enough. Can't finish them off. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out Woe Is Me, check them out. Uh, we almost didn't have a chance to interview these guys as they were playing with We Came As Romans last time they came in town and the show was canceled last minute. So luckily we were able to uh, score this interview with them. I definitely uh, thank you guys for taking the opportunity. Thank you. And Face thank Down you. is out. See ya.